Welcome back. Now we're going to take a dive into a topic that has received a lot of buzz recently. So let's explore the world of peptides and their role in pain management. Inflammation, anti-aging, sleep, sex, skincare, and immunity. That's right, I said peptides. The question is, what are they? What are peptides and what do they do exactly? This topic is especially important for anyone who suffers from chronic pain and is looking for pain relief. And I'm excited to share my knowledge and expertise with you. In technical terms, peptides are naturally occurring molecules made of short chains of amino acids. They're the building blocks of proteins. Peptides are responsible for transmitting messages throughout the whole body. These messages can play a critical role in everything that controls our body from regulating our hormones to controlling our immune system. And peptides can even play a role in influencing our pain levels. And that is why I'm so excited about sharing the information with you. Now, if we break that down into more simple terms, then we can say peptides are tiny little building blocks, little tiny blocks that make up proteins in the body. So let's think of these proteins like little Legos. And peptides as the individual Lego blocks. Just like how you can build many different things with Legos, the body uses different combinations of peptides to make many different proteins. These proteins then help us grow and stay strong and do lots of important jobs in our body, as if they can put the pep in our step. So if you're into superheroes, you can think of peptides like being superpowers of our bodies. Just like how superpowers all have unique special abilities, our bodies use different combinations of peptides to make different pr proteins that can give us these superpowers too. The superpowers help us grow tall and strong, fight off germs, and do all sorts of amazing things. It's like having a whole team of superheroes inside of you, working together to keep you healthy and strong. There are many different types of peptides, and each of these tiny superheroes are tasked with a specific function. Some of them are involved in re regulating your hormones. Others play a role in controlling inflammation levels, sex hormones, and even anti-aging. There's lots of different secrets out there. And very excitingly, there are even peptides that have a direct impact on your pain levels. Did you know that insulin is considered a peptide? Even these new weight loss drugs that you might see commercials for, including Ozempic and Wagovi, also known as semaglutide, these are peptides as well. The way peptides work in your body is by transmitting messages between the cells of your body, which can help with regulating the various bodily functions. So in more simple terms, peptides are just like little messengers dashing around and helping regulate various functions in the body, including pain. It's fascinating to see how such tiny little molecules can have such a big impact on our health and well-being. So that's a brief overview of what peptides are and how they work in the body. There have been numerous studies and research papers conducted on the use of peptides for pain management, and the results are promising. In many cases, patients who have incorporated peptides into their pain management regimen have reported significant reductions in pain, reduction in inflammation, and improved quality of life. More research is currently being done in this field, and there's so much we still don't know. Think of peptide therapy like the world of cryptocurrency. It's like the Wild West right now. These little superheroes are fascinating. Everybody wants to try them out, but we have to be really cautious. Please do your homework when it comes to choosing a doctor and a pharmacy. Some people are buying peptoids off the internet that are for lab use only. This is very dangerous. This designation, lab use only, means that a peptide is intended to be used only in the laboratory and is definitely not intended for use by humans. This is a warning that this peptide is not approved by any regulatory agency for the use as a drug or a dietary supplement and should only be used in a controlled research environment. Easily stated, lab use only means we as humans should not be injecting or taking these products unless we are controlled subjects in a lab. I don't think anyone watching or listening is actually a lab rat, so please be cautious. There are standards in the world of pharmacies. Please do your research if you do decide you want to start using peptides. There's an art and science behind this field, and not all pharmacies are created equally. Please ensure the peptide you may want to try is made for human use only. Because most peptides are already naturally occurring in the body, there are minimally, minimal side effects associated with peptide therapy. Unlike some traditional treatments, peptides do not have a significant impact on the liver or kidneys and are generally well tolerated by patients. 
the most common side effect is an allergic reaction at the actual site of injection. So that's all I have to say about peptides today. I just wanted to introduce them, let you all know that this is an alternative therapy that could potentially be beneficial to health and wellness. Research is ongoing, but there are peptides available, all of which require a prescription. Please make sure you do your homework and choose wisely to ensure the peptide you choose is for human use. We all want to put our internal superheroes to work. It's just important to do it safely. Dr. Manzi here with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine in Houston, Texas, and this is Pain Diaries. Take care of you so you can take care of business.